So today we will talk about a word or rather a subject that impacts all of us. Inflation. Now if you look at Google for its definition, it states a decrease in the purchasing power of money. So what exactly is inflation? Suppose you are in 1970. Pre-born yourselves. Now in the United States, you go to purchase a cup of coffee. Now that cup of coffee will cost you 0.25 US dollars. Now fast forward yourself today. That same cup of coffee with the same ingredients and everything remains the same. Today costs 1.60 US dollars. Why such a steep rise in the price? Has the coffee changed over the years? I don't think so. The answer to this lies in inflation. Now why exactly a price rise or what causes inflation? The first reason is of course demand pull inflation. Now suppose you are going to watch a movie in the cinema hall and that movie hall consists of 200 seats. 20 seats are recliners out of those at the back and they obviously give you a better viewing experience. Now let us assume a scenario where everybody can afford the recliner seats. Everybody has money and everybody can afford the recliner seats. What will happen is the demand for recliner seats will increase because everyone will go to the ticket counter to buy a ticket for recliner seats. Now when the demand for recliner seats increases, the owners of the cinema halls, they will increase the price. So if the recliner used to cost 300 rupees, now it will cost 600, 700 rupees. They will naturally increase the prices to gain more profit. So here because your demand increased, the price increased. Demand pull inflation. The other reason is cost push inflation. Let us assume there is a factory that is manufacturing cotton t-shirts. Now for producing cotton t-shirts, it requires cotton as a raw material. Now for some reason, the cotton produced is not good because of maybe monsoon or the tax on cotton is imposed by the government. What will happen? The cost of production for that company will increase because now cotton is expensive. So if that company was able to produce a cotton t-shirt for 100 rupees, now it will be able to produce it maybe in 200 or 250 rupees. So what will be the next response of the company? Now the company will sell the t-shirt not at 500 which was the original price but now at 700 or 800 because their cost has also increased. So this is cost pull inflation. The other reason is built in inflation. For example, now you know, today you know that if you look at last 40 years, 50 years, the prices have gone up. And now you know, seeing that trend, that in the next 5 years, next 10 years, next 15 years, the prices will increase than what they are today. So what do you expect as an individual? You expect that your wages, your salaries should increase so that you can cater to that rise in prices in the future. So this is built in inflation. Another reason for inflation is printing of too many currencies by the government without keeping inflation in mind. This is what happened in Zimbabwe and it is a very scary situation. In Zimbabwe in 2008-2009 period, what the Zimbabwean government did, it printed a lot of currency in huge numbers. They even printed a 1 trillion, 1 billion notes. Now there was no use that 1 billion and 1 trillion note because of hyperinflation, its value was just 1 US dollars. The inflation became out of control in Zimbabwe. And I'll tell you an example. It looks like a 1 billion, 1 trillion note. But if you go to market with that 1 billion, 1 trillion note, you will purchase the same number of items as you can purchase with 1 US dollars. This is the effect of hyperinflation. Another example from Zimbabwe, if in Zimbabwe during that period you are given a bag full of 1 billion, 1 trillion notes, you would prefer that bag rather than that bag full of 1 trillion, 1 billion notes. This is because the value of that bag is much more than 1 trillion note because of, depreciate, because of depreciation and level of inflation in the country. So this is how scary hyperinflation is. 
Now, naturally, the next question, if inflation is so scary, then why can't we keep inflation at 0% level? Why have inflation in the first place? The answer is if you keep inflation at 0% level, it is extremely bad for the economy. It is not ideal. Because at 0% level, your wages will reduce and your unemployment in the economy will increase. Why unemployment will increase? The answer lies in Phillips curves. A Phillips curve is basically a graphical representation. It's a curve that gives you the relationship between inflation and unemployment. So it's a trade-off. If your inflation increases, your unemployment rate will reduce. If your unemployment rate will increase, your inflation will reduce. So there has to be a balance. So what should be optimum level of inflation? Now it depends on the development of the countries. If a country is in developed stage, so most of the developed countries try to keep their inflation at 2% level. 2% is what they consider optimum after consultation with banks and economists. But what about developing countries? Most of the developing countries like ours, we try to keep our inflation at 4%. Of course, there is a band. So plus 2 and minus 2 is all right. So from 2% to 6% is what is considered an optimum level of inflation in our country. Because since inflation is linked to unemployment, as I told you by Phillips curve, it is important to keep that balance. 